time to get high <laughs> so I'm in an old-school phone booth right now you ever seen one of these you, you got to push the buttons these ones you gotta like dial a number I need to know put money in it's 50 cents for a local call whatever happened to a quarter no, really no one's actually making money on these I'll just leave it at a quarter but there it is, the Matrix. Hello, Neil. Agent Smith. Yes, what do you want? is delayed after you're on the plane. Maintenance problem. Always blame it on the blue collar guys. In the meantime, we've been editing, so thanks for helping me out. delayed even more which is good because this vlog needs to continue there's no story yet without being delayed there's no drama will we make it a flight uh, which i'll delay it further uh just so everybody knows we're okay to deploy the aircraft and uh, wait up uh, by the gate uh, for further thank you for your patience
So we're back off the plane. The plane, the plane. I feel like the little guy from Fantasy Island. The plane is broken. So this is a vlogger's dream. We're trapped in an airport. First we're trapped on a plane. First we're trapped in a line, then we're trapped in a plane. Now we're trapped in an airport with no plane and many lines, but not lined up anymore. It's a vlogger's dream. There's drama. Will he make it home on time? Will there be Christmas? Did Santa, is Santa gonna come this year? Was I a good boy? Was I a naughty girl? <sighs> the drama. Without you guys, I'd be so probably angry. So, at least I get to entertain some people in the future on YouTube from my struggles at the airport because getting a plane to Winnipeg is like getting one to Antarctica. No one wants to go and you're not allowed because you're deplaned. Deplane, deplane. Maintenance guy, they say maintenance. They say it was maintenance problems. If it's a maintenance problems, then you should have known way in advance. I suddenly didn't know there's a whole wing missing. <laughs> All right, we'll be updating you soon. Until then, I'm calling for pizza. Meal vouchers. You also get a good credit score if you <laughs> accept our bribery of meal vouchers. The lineup is now for meal vouchers. I don't like flying. I said this. I said flying sucks. The saga continues. The flight is now scheduled for a plane by 5 p.m. So it's 2.30. We got two and a half hours, three hours more to kill before we to kill, before we might get it in the air. And then we don't even know we might get killed in the air because the plane is supposed to be broken and they're gonna fix it that time. Can you just guarantee me a good plane? Though we may just be here for the rest of the day and night or we may crash and burn. I guess you'll find out if this vlog gets posted, we didn't crash and burn. We'll see, it's very exciting. If you don't see this vlog, we crash and burned. Holy shit. And if we did, if you do see this vlog, we could have crashed in Burton, which is almost high stakes. The possibility is high. You should be concerned watching this now. This might be, I might have edited this and pre-posted this. I mean, we did, we did. You never heard about it. So you don't know how this is going to end. Hang tight. It could, it's cliffhanging stuff. I'm scared. You should be terrified for me. If you're reading this tape, I may or may not survive this meal vulture issue situation. <sighs> Good thing I brought cookies. It's the kind of vlog where we wait in line for food vouchers. Crickets, crickets, anyone? What? Don't give us crickets for food vouchers. We're stuck in the vlog. I'm making old school phone calls. And there goes Dr. Evil on his little tiny motorcycle. Diversity, Dr. Evil. So there's my plane, as I was just sitting on for the last two hours, and it's uh, apparently broken. Don't see anybody working on it. Here's a guy driving right by. One is we got a $15 voucher and a three hour wait. So welcome to the most expensive city in the world, uh, Vancouver, Canada. And at the airport, if you want to get a beer because your flight is delayed by five hours and they give you a $15 voucher to buy a $25 pizza, then you must spend your own money because it does not cover liquor if you want to have a time, which is an $18 beer. Little do they know that a famous vlogger is now reviewing their food. Also a famous food critic, also a famous critic. Just me being critical of people. Pacific Farms Market 
is about to get a pizza and beer review. So far, the beer is an A+. This pale ale picked randomly, pale ale yellow dog. Pale ale yellow dog is a delicious beer. Uh, highly overpriced at $16. That finger's on the plane. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I washed my hands too. Well, it's pretty good pizza. I'm desperate in an airport, so what can I say? A plus, airport pizza food was pretty good. Welcome to the future. Okay, so here's the update. The plane is still delayed six hours now, six hours. So we've had pizza, we've had beer, we've had some snacks, we've edited, and now we wonder really, truly, will we get there? Are we gonna get there? Are we gonna make it in time for Christmas? I have perishable items in my bag that are gonna go bad. They are gifts handmade for someone else, from someone else to someone else. I'm just the carrier, I'm just the messenger. They're in my responsibility, they're in my care. I myself have a sensitive IBS system. I don't actually, I was trying to raise the stakes. I'm raising the stakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising the stakes because will we make it there? Will we get there? Will we arrive in Winnipeg or will it be Timbuktu or will it be today or will it be tomorrow? Or will they give us a thousand dollars and make our flight be laid by 24 hours and we get a voucher? So we're kind of hoping for the voucher because at this point we've already been here for six and we'll be here for 16. So we'll let you know tomorrow because we're not getting out of here today. That's the end of today's vlog. Hang tight on the cliffhanger. Will I make it out of the airport? Will I go home with a thousand dollars in my hand? Will I fly to my destination and be eight hours late and irritated and triggering my trigger IBS? <laughs> I don't have IBS. I just think it's. I just think it'd be suck if you did and you and you had to fly. <laughs> Time. My plane is still sitting right there. I guess I'm here today, tomorrow, and tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But the question is, will I make it? Or maybe we'll crash and burn. So